five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. This is about space. America's return to space with news and information on our U.S. space program. From our About Space Today World Headquarters, I'm John Gomez. This week in space, Starship has a successful fourth test flight of Starship. The European Space Agency's newest rocket is ready for its debut, and Boeing Starliner's spacecraft finally launches. This and more next, as America and the world is listening to About Space Today. Come to the land of orange groves and palm trees. Come to the land of theme parks. Come to the land of sunny beaches and the azure waters of the Atlantic Ocean. So come and visit Florida for lasting memories. Email us. Email david.ddcruiseandtours at gmail.com or call DD Cruise and Tours at 877 747 8631 for your next family, cruise, or theme park vacation. Let us provide you your next visit with our travel experience, not experimentation. We are members of IATAN and CLIA. Email david.ddcruiseandtours at gmail.com. Serving the Southeast, traveler since 1985. Welcome back. On June 6th, SpaceX's Starship spacecraft successfully completed its fourth test flight, and this was one for the books, as both the Super Heavy booster and Starship upper main stage made it back to the surface intact. The vehicle lifted off at 8.50 a.m. Eastern from the company's Starbase test site at Boca Chica, Texas. Five, four, three. There were two main goals for this test flight. Bring Starship's first stage booster, known as Super Heavy, down for a soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico and achieve a controlled re-entry of the 165-foot-tall upper stage. Both sections of the ship made their expected landings to raucous cheers from the crowd assembled at SpaceX's test site. While no official date has been given for test flight 5, it is expected to occur sometime this summer. In other news this week... The European Space Agency is ready to debut its newest rocket, the Ariane 6, this summer from the European spaceport in French Guiana. Here's a little bit more about Ariane 6. The Ariane 6 stage and components were all manufactured across Europe. The main engine and the central core were integrated in Le Mureau, France, while the upper stage engine and insulation for the rocket's exterior were built up in Bremen, Germany. The Ariane 6 boosters are being produced in Italy and are the same P120C solid propulsion rockets as Vega C's first stage. So the next steps are loading all the elements, their preparation, integration of the central core. This is scheduled in March. Then the transfer of the central core to the launch pad. Again, the integration with the boosters, the fairing, the preparation, the actual preparation, test, and finally the launch itself. This summer, Flight Model 1 will be ready to let its engine rumble and fly. Ariane 6 is expected to make its maiden launch on July 9th. Stay with About Space Today news for more information on this historic launch. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Finally this week, you heard it right there. Though it took multiple tries, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft finally launched on June 5th, bound for the International Space Station. It was a bittersweet overdue launch for the embattled spacecraft. Unfortunately, the issues that plagued the spacecraft before its launch seemed to follow it to space. Starliner missed its first docking opportunity on June 6th. Then, five of the spacecraft's thrusters failed during its approach, and four were subsequently recovered. 
As a result, NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore had to assume manual control of the crew capsule for a while before it went back into its autonomous mode. The capsule will finally dock with the ISS at 1.34 p.m. Eastern Time following a nail-biting journey. Starliner is expected to return to Earth on June 14th. Make sure you check out our Facebook page, About Space Today, for launches and landings, and invite your family and friends to listen weekly. You can find us on your favorite podcast platforms like Apple, Spotify, Libsyn, and more. Be sure to join David Denault twice a month for Special Report and Don Meyer every Friday for America in Space. Whether you're listening on the International Space Station or just on your phone, thanks for joining me. I'm John Gomez, and you just learned a little about space today. <laughs>